Good morning. Thanks for picking me up. You're hey, welcome. How's your night been? Fabulous. Fabulous? Yeah. That's great to hear. And yours? I just got off work. Oh. Yeah. So was that okay? It was it was alright, yeah. Right. I work at Chick's Oyster Bar down the street. Okay. Has it been busy? Um, I was sitting at home for a few hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got up. Sometimes I just turn on the app when I'm sitting at home because I yeah, don't yeah. I don't live too far from mm -hmm. Great Neck and uh, uh, Virginia Beach yeah, Boulevard. Yeah. So I just so one guy and his wife. Don't ping you when you're yeah. your cigar. Yeah. So yeah. okay, let me go. Yeah. That's nice. But yeah. So not a lot of. Where's your accent? <laughs> I'm born and raised in California. Have you? Yeah. So. I lived in, I was going to school at Utah for a while. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, born and raised. Nice. What part? Yeah. Born and raised in Northern California, but lived in just outside of LA for five years okay. before nice. moving here. I, um, I, I've been to Orange County, I've been to, uh, Yeah, I lived in southern Utah, not too far from Vegas. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How far is it from southern Utah? How far is it? About an hour and a half. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Not bad at all. And Utah's pretty boring, so that's what I would do every weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. There's not much to do there, so we would just drive to Vegas. Nice. Can't complain. I no. miss, I grew up here though, so I miss the beach. I was like, I gotta come back to my family. Yeah. How long have you been back now? About two years now. Okay. How about you? You just decided to move here? Yeah, my... Switch coast? Completely. Completely, yes. Yeah. It was... But, yeah. They made me... The cost of living is a lot cheaper, so it was like... It is, very much yeah. so. I mean, Utah, the cost of living is very cheap. Yeah. But not California. Not California. Not at all. Yeah. Orange County and Anaheim. That's the other place. Yeah. Anaheim, California. That's, that's the expensive parts. Really? Yeah. That's why I, mean, I went for a business trip. I don't know, I just, when you grow up here, and I went, I grew up here, moved out there my freshman year of college, and then got a feel for it, you know, and then it's just different yeah. when you grow up out here. It's very different beach scenes. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. You know? Like, yeah. this is very much so local, that not so much at all. Yeah. Cold water. LA is just mm -hmm. LA. Exactly. Yeah, every time I every time somebody gets in a car, I say I'm from you know California. They're LA. like, what? Why, Aww, why yeah, here? exactly. Why, why? <laughs> People think that when I'm like, yeah, like I lived in Vegas for a little bit. They're like, oh, what the? You know, Vegas to them is like something so extravagant. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, like I would drive an hour away and be yeah. there. You know. Yeah, that's not. Nice. Like that was an every weekend type thing, and they're like, oh. Like that's on their bucket list, you know. Oh, wow. oh, absolutely. California as well. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody wants to go to California. Everybody wants to go to Vegas. California or Vegas. I'm gonna make a trip out there soon. Though I've got a. My best friends live out there. So I miss all my best. My family lives out here, but my best friends live out there, and I'm just like. in both places. I couldn't, yeah. I could never decide. I'm just going to go back and forth. Right but forever. Yeah. yeah, I never thought I'd leave California. Yeah, absolutely. How do you like it here? Comparison. It's very much so laid back. It is. Compared it's to LA. Yeah, it's slow. It's like in LA, like the first time I got out of here, I got on the freeway and I'm driving. Yeah. And I, freeway i go 65 yeah. 70 miles an hour and yeah. then i get on the freeway and i'm passing everybody up i'm like you're on 55 yeah. i, <laughs> I want to go 80 on the freeway because in utah it's 80 
Okay. It is. When you're going through on the way to Vegas, it's 80. Yeah. And that's what I, I feel like I'm going so slow here on the freeway. Yeah. Even still. To help me not speed, I just got set to cruise control. Uh, yeah, exactly. Go. Even on this road here, I was at the cruise control. It's awful. <laughs> so you live around here, you said. Off yeah, not, back, too, not far. too far. Yeah, yeah right here. At, um, I like the place where I live. Shore Drive is a great place. And Great Nick is also a great place. But, like, Shore Drive, as far as bar scene and everything, my age. Yeah. So you live there? I live there, yeah. Okay. Right next to my work. It's... And it's very safe. And not a lot of It's time. more local stuff up there. Absolutely, right? yeah. yeah. Like, all the people who come into my work are locals. Yeah. Most, mostly, yeah. Not the, not like ocean mm -hmm. front. Not like ocean yeah. front. Like, literally. Like, where we're turning? We're going to be going right, but then the ocean front would be left on the yeah. last, on Virginia, or, uh, but so, oh. Boulevard. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. literally, like, where are you going? Mm hmm. Oh, do you? Like literally right back oh, there. Oh wow! Yeah. That's the, a nice neighborhood. The first, uh, the first couple I picked up tonight was mm -hmm. right there in that same really? place. Is that the hookah lounge? Uh -huh. Is that where you went? That's where I'm going. That's where I picked them up at. Yeah, my friend bartends there, so like oh, nice. we hang out there till late, even when it's closed. We just hang out because by the time I'm off, you know, not much places are open. Yeah. I got off at like what? today, but I went to a different bar and then I went home and changed and then called me and was like, come over. And I gotta work two whole Sunday tomorrow. That'll be busy. Are you gonna work or are you gonna watch football? I don't know. I'll probably do the same thing I did tonight. Just yeah. turn on the app and oh, forget. I, I bet it'll be very busy. I think so. Because we're doing like a big Super Bowl party there. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping to make some good money. Thumbs up for that. that people that I pick up from one place I pick up and drop people off oh, at the same place yeah. it's the same especially chicks and like anywhere really around here chicks is a very popular like pickup spot I feel like yeah we turn right there and right there. oh really and it's back in there nice. Do you prefer this over California or no? Um, all my family and friends are in California. Mm -hmm. you know, I got a cousin that lives out here. Okay. Um, in Virginia? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we hang out probably once every couple months. Him yeah. and his wife and his kids and stuff. Oh. So, but. Please fasten passenger seat belt.
I know. Give me my fucking gun! Yep, this is our time to get out of here, brother. <laughs> She's screaming for her gun. Oh, That's our moment to get out of here, brother. Time to go. Yeah. Holy shit. I paid 700 for that gun. I don't know what they were fighting for. There was a gun and that chick busted her gun out. She's some tough guy. Yeah, but I was saying, what was the, what was the fight for? I have no idea. And I don't she was give fighting shit. some guy in front of the... I don't give a shit. The place. I don't care. Wow. It's not my problem. I want to go home and... <laughs> Have a nice cuddle with my with my wife and have a great night's sleep. Wake up and feel great tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, man, I'm so glad and I'm taking this wonderful lift away. It's a beautiful but night. You know the security's cold. Why do you don't cheat her for That's not my problem. I'm out of here. Call me a little scaredy cat. I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm out of here and you know what? I'll see it on the news and I'll laugh about it tomorrow. I'll be like, yo, that's so funny. That shit was breaking off right as I called that lift to get the hell out of there. God, man, I said foreseen the future. Yeah, that's pretty. That was crazy right there. Dude, when I go out, I try to have a few you drinks. Know, it's the crazy thing because they saw that pretty girl and they were like, oh, she's not going to have a knife or anything. And she, her ass had a gun. She's like, I paid $700 for this gun. <laughs> Thank God your dumb ass didn't go off on me. <laughs> and she didn't hit my girl in the head. Me and her are about to go home and just have a nice sleep tonight. And your random bullet hit my wife in the head. <laughs> you know, I mean, seriously. Uh, I mean, bad. Huh? Man, I said that would be all bad. Dude, that I had no idea. Me. I mean, I, we've gone to that club a million times, dude. I had no idea that somebody was actually... When they were like, someone's got a gun. I had no idea it would be a chick. I thought for sure it would be some... I mean, she was pretty. She was a pretty girl. She's like, you didn't give me my fucking gun back. I paid $700 for that thing. Fuck you, bitch. Imagine that gun would have went off on accident and she was, shot and hit she somebody was in the head. That guy's huh? Ass. She was beating that guy's ass. She was? Yeah. No. uh yeah. Not the not the bouncer. Right? Oh, I went to use the bathroom, so I missed some it. Some guy, I guess it was her boyfriend or some friend. Oh, I don't yeah. know. That black guy? Yeah. Oh, so when I went to the bathroom, I missed it all? You weren't there, so I don't know how you missed it. I was in the bath. I went to the bathroom and when I came out. Oh, well, hold on. <laughs> well, no, at first, at first. Like a moron, I guess, like, dude, I've always wanted to be an ambulance driver or an ambulance chaser. I'm always excited to see what's going on. So at first, when the shit was jumping off, I was, like, right in the middle of it. I was like, oh, man, I gotta use the bathroom. I'm gonna see what's going on. God, I was this stupid-ass idiot. Black dude was like, I'm from the street, yo. I'm from the street. I'm from the street, yo. <laughs> and, this, and this poor black, this poor black waitress. I was like, honey, that shit don't mean shit here, honey. Please don't go to jail because you're from the street. <laughs> she, was wow. she was telling me, show straight up. So I was like, oh, man, I guess I just missed the fight. So I used the bathroom. I got out. You know, I had already ordered the lift before the shit even happened. So I was like, man, I'm going to use the bathroom. By the time I get to the bathroom, man, I'm sure the lift to be here. It'll be perfect. I got out there, and, like, all these chicks are scared to death, like, sitting in the bar. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And they're like, <laughs> She was like, somebody's got a gun. I was like, are you oh. fucking serious? No, uh babe, did you see her pull the gun out? No, I didn't. There's somebody being jumped in there to stop. No, uh -uh. It was like that? Yeah, it was like that. Everybody went there. Like, everybody's going to walk in the bar. They've been there to, try to like, pull her. No, uh yeah. No way. Yeah. Dude, she's going to jail tonight. She's going to jail tonight. Oh, I hope so. I'm so I'm glad we left when we did. God, thank God. You to have some fun and you carry your gun with you. God, thank God. God, we got this lift when we did, babe. Oh my God, there's probably 20 cop cars there right now. Somebody pulled a gun out at Central 111 at the beach. There's probably 20 cop cars there right now, at least. Oh. I guess they knew each other, so they got in a fight. Like, I don't care. Verbally, they were talking, so she got mad, and I guess she pulled it out. So like that. So the, no, it was. No, no, it was this black guy that was waiting for the bathroom. Right, and the black guy was like, dude, I'm, I'm waiting for the bathroom, and I guess some other black guy cut in front of him. <laughs> and when I, and like, right when the shit jumped off, like a moron, I should have went away from everything. I went right to it, like a magnet. I went right to see where the problem was at. Everyone seen I was like a pretty big dude, so they were just letting me through. And they were like, oh, uh, it so must be a bouncer or some shit. So I get like right in the mix of this shit. Yeah. And this is just this, like, I'm from the street, yo. I'm from the street, motherfucker. I'm from the street, man. I'm fucking tighten his ass up. <laughs> and the shit, and, and like I said, the black waitress was like, dude, 
we're not in the street here. This is not worth it. Please just go out to your car. So I went in the bathroom, and when I came out, I went in and took a piss, and when I came out, like, all these women were, like, up sitting on the bar. I mean, what the fuck is going on? And they're like, he's got to go, he's got to go. I'm like, what the? Oh, she's fucked, dude. dude. So, she will not know security. And, dude, she, and let me tell you something. Like, right before we hopped in your car, bro, like, yeah. literally, as me, as me and Polly were getting in your car, she was like, I paid $700 for that gun. You better give me that shit back. I'm like, yo, oh, bitch, so much for you later, better though. get in the car and drive the fuck oh, away God. as fast as you can because that little stupid-ass $700 gun is going to get you a fucking pulling a weapon out in public in front of, you can't just pull a gun out in front of 100 people in a bar. I mean... I pray to God there's a law against that. Yeah, she's gonna, she gonna have a pair of silver bracelets tonight. You think so? Yeah. There's gotta be a yeah. law that says you can't just pull a gun out in, the, in a bar. Why do you want somebody to know? Don't come Hell no, you can't do that. You can't just pull a gun out in a bar and like wave it somewhere. You can't do that. That's illegal. There's gotta be. That's gotta be illegal. Like, what if she was like drunk and like the trigger actually went off on accident and like shot somebody on accident? I hope she goes to jail. Like, I, I don't want to say that. I mean, well, I really... That's, irrespon that's irresponsible. You could have shot someone in the back and left them paralyzed for the rest of their life. You could have shot them in the back yeah. of their head and killed them for the rest of their life. I could be out of my wife. Yeah. I mean, me and my yeah. wife got plans for the future for the next you 50 know, years. Every time we go, at the very end, something fine happens. I don't yeah. know why. Alcohol, man. And it's always, Liquid courage. It's always women. Yeah, you would think it's guys, but it's women. Yeah. I did Uber for like a year before I owned the car, my car lot that I have like partners in. Yeah. And I did Uber, and I gotta tell you, women, like listen, okay, I'm 39, so when I did Uber, babe, I was like 37, 38. If I did Uber as a man when I was 17 or 18, I would've learned so much about women. <laughs> Dude, <About> what? women. <laughs> because, let me tell you something, and, and, and you could, you could, when I, no, I'm sure he, whatever, whatever we're going to say, he's going to... I'm a he, couple years older than he, than he is. I'm 39. How old are you? 45. 45? Okay, yeah. so you got six years on me. Yeah. But tell me, as an Uber driver, bro, tell me you haven't picked up a carload, because I did it. I did it for a year. Tell me you didn't pick up four, like a carload of four women to get in your car, and you're just an Uber guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? You might as well be this headrest right here. They yeah. don't care, right? Okay. And they say the craziest, yeah. most crudest shit, and you're like, dude... I thought only guys said this shit. Yeah. I thought, Why? babe, I'm, I yeah. swear to God with all my heart, I've I've heard women say more whorish, brutish shit in the back seat than I've heard like 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 okay, four guys go out, they're talking about fantasy football, they're talking about Tom Brady, oh, okay. they're talking about they're talking about this, they're talking about that. You get four girls in there. One of them leaves some dude because he got a big dick, and, and like the rest of them were all mad at this bitch. Fuck that bitch. She broke up with him four fucking times, and she seen him in the bar, and the only reason she's going home with him because he got a big. Am I lying? Yeah. Bro, am I lying? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Have you ever heard this car? Am I, or just making I've this heard, up? I've heard that same story. You've had the yeah, same exact same conversation, story. right? And you're just an Uber guy, you're sitting there. How many times have you picked a woman up because she's pissed as fuck at her girl? She went there with her girl to the bar. And then she met her ex back at the bar, and guess what? Her ex left, so now she's got to take she's an Uber back home. Back. And she's cussing her boy, her girl out. This horse, you got Bro, am I making yeah. that shit up? He's no. right. He's right. It's right. It's worse, than, <laughs> it's worse than guys. Dude, if I had learned this shit when I was 18 or 17, oh my God, these women wouldn't be able to stand a chance. <laughs> I'm all shy, you know, oh. I, don't, I don't say much, I'm a shy guy, you know, I'm, I know, I don't know. And dude, I, I picked these four girls up, and I might as well be the sun visor right here. <laughs> They're just talking about the craziest shit in the world, and I'm like, dude, do you realize I'm... Oh, come on. Like, you know, like, oh, no, no. Oh, come on. Bro. Oh, I've never done that. Bro, honestly, I've do you, done. dude, as a dude... You don't talk really about shit with you and your girl to your other homeboys. You don't. You really don't talk about that shit. Women, women are like, yo, his dick was five inches. His dick was seven inches. Never said that. Pick four birds up from the fucking bar and they get laid tonight, and they're going home. Piss the fuck off, dude. Why would you share this information? Like, I don't know. 
Because alcohol. Because they're drunk. Polly, I've never told you this shit, but I'm telling um, you know, he could, he could, dude, I've never met this guy yeah. before in my life. Yeah, I don't know. Am I lying? No. Am I making it up? No. Are women the crude oh. bitches? Almost, you can't believe it, how crude they are. <laughs> <laughs> they like sex more than you do. You can't yeah. believe it. Yeah. Am I lying? No. <laughs> I, I swear to you. I'd be driving the car like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Like, I cannot believe yeah, there's, this. There's been a few times where I just want to be like, associated with you guys. You right, know, right. Man. You just like turn off yeah. the volume, you're like, oh, I'm play. turn off the radio, I'm not listening to what you're talking about. But I noticed, I noticed a really big percentage of my my rides were women that went out with their girlfriends on like girls night out. And then like, because I guess their friend was fighting with their boyfriend or something. And then they meet their ex-boyfriend at the bar. And that girl goes home with the ex-boyfriend, yeah. and then they got to get an Uber to go home no, because they went home because their friend went home with the ex-boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they're mad as fuck, and they're just like dropping a hammer. Like, oh. bitch, can you believe it? This, 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 this motherfucker went and cheated on her, and she did this, and she did that, and she's still going home with him. And I got to get a fucking Uber with you back to the ride. And I'm like, I'm sorry, my bad. I just Right, right. Yeah, man. It's entertaining, though. It is, man. You, so you do late nights? You do I, Thursday, Friday nights, Saturday nights? Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. That's what I did. I did Thursday nights, Friday nights, Saturday nights, and that was it. That's what I did. That's yeah. what I did. I did it from like 10 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Yeah. But I made some point. I mean, you can make some point doing that night. Yeah. That shit. And, and, and what is crazy, like you said... If you take it like it, it ain't shit, like you don't take it personal, and you just take a look at it ain't shit, you can make some money, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because like, I, I was like, yeah, sometimes it'd be fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not bad. No. Nah. Not bad at all. No, nah, I mean. Almost to a T, though, you were just talking about. It. Almost to the T. I was like, dude. As I'm really? telling you the shit, you're like, oh my God. That was got, last night. Dude, I was like, wow. Every weekend is like that, dude. <laughs> I mean, you can think about it, bro. We do like 10 or 15 rides a night. Yeah. So out of the 10 or 15 rides, one of them is going to be that story. Yeah. One of them is going to be that pissed off girl that's like, God damn it. I thought it was girls night out. I thought it was going to be the girls. I thought we were just going to be hanging out with the girls. And this bitch gets up with this motherfucker. Blah, 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 blah. And then you're like taking her and she's bitching at you the whole goddamn way home. And you're like, yeah. dude. But you're just like, I can't wait to deal with your fucking head. Nah. Now I understand why she left with that dude. You fucking suck. <laughs> I can't wait to get the fuck out of my car, too. I keep looking. Yeah, I'm like, dude, oh, two more miles. <laughs> exactly. You're looking at you. Miles. Go, well, okay. 242, you're going to be right the fuck out of my car. Perfect. Can't wait. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, no. That's true. That's, that's some true. true shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I've had a pile of girls in my car 15 to 20 times, dude. And like I said, man, I might as well be the GPS system. You're just an Uber guy. They, they act like you don't even exist. Like, you're not even a human being. You're just like a robot that drives this car to their spot. And they're just talking about the raunchiest shit in the world. And you're like, oh, my God. You are worse than what you guys are. Yeah. Like, me and my homeboys are going, we never talk about this. Uh, we talk about making money. Babe. Like, you hung out with Daniel the whole night. Uh, hold on, maybe we maybe never maybe talked about yes. tit size or ass size or juicy size or none of that shit. Every time I pick up bitches. The number one shit is dick size. Like, no. go straight. No. I'm, come on. Okay. Sure wait till my homeboy waits here another fucking year. He's gonna hear it, bro. He does this shit another year. I guarantee you he's gonna get a dick size story. Yeah, probably be next week. Like yep. yeah, dude. Po I, Polly, I thought it was immature. I thought it was young, childish shit. I thought it was shit that, like, women would never talk about. Because I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Me and my homeboys never get together, and it's like, oh, okay. she's got small titties, man. She's got small tits, man. She she's got a C cup, bro, or she got a B cup, or she got an A cup, or or whatever, bro. She got a C cup. I swear to God, women be like, yo, he's packing, yo. He's pa I mean, dude, women are like that, and guys are just like, yo, I think the Patriots gonna win the Super Bowl tomorrow. <laughs> That's all been the conversations. Every guy I had in the car yesterday and today, all been about football. And 
tell me nothing different, bro. I, I don't give a fuck, dude. Seven months later from now, bro, you'll be doing this shit. You will remember me. You will say, yo, the dude was talking to his wife about this shit. The dude was so fucking right, man. Everything he said was a hundred percent. Men don't really do. We don't, man. Mm-hmm. Men don't no. want a now, man. Brandon, do, we, do we think about it? Probably. Yes. 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 Do we have a group conversation? No. About it? No. We never no, want to tell they, another man what we're working with at home. We never want to do that. No. We never want to break. I think that's what it is. No. No. They, oh, they no. Men they, do not. They, we don't do that. We just don't do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna talk about the Patriots tomorrow. We're gonna talk about the Eagles tomorrow. We're not gonna talk about what we're gunning down in the bed tomorrow. We're gonna talk about the Eagles and Patriots. What we're doing in the bedroom isn't on your fucking business. But women, it's like, yo, you got fucking 10-inch dick, man. Yo, 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 Jennifer. Yo, 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 Alicia. I mean, can you see why I can't get over him? I mean, he's just so bomb in the bedroom. I see, babe, I see. Babe, you think he, it, it, I agree. I agree. I agree. It's crazy as fuck. I never would have thought that women would be so fucking flagrant about this shit. That's how they are. That's how you bitches are. That's how I know how y'all are. Was you, you, was that a good you're inclu- you're your included, you're included, Polly. Your I, you're a female. Was, uh, I get around, I'm sure when you get around your 15 girls and y'all get all drunk, that fucking shit I starts getting blown. I don't believe it. Maybe it's like a joke, like they're drunk and they're joking. Bro, am I making this up, bro? Am I drinking? I'm making okay, I'm up. I am been drinking, but am I making this? I'm not making this up, bro. He will tell you. Give him a year, dude. After a year, he's he's, dude. His game is gonna be so tight. I don't know if you're single or married. After a year, bro, your game is gonna be so tight, dude. <laughs> he's gonna be pro. He's gonna be pros pro, dude. <laughs> he's gonna hear. He's gonna hear it all, dude. That's why you marry me, babe. I'm a pros pro. Right here. <laughs> yeah, that's it, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> you got it, man. Have a good night. Drive right, safe, you guys man. too, man. Definitely, brother. Hook you up on a little tip, man. I appreciate right. it. You, you guys have a good one. You too, man. Drop that. Right. Bye. Stay close to me and my wife. <laughs> That's fun <laughs> shit, man. Fun <laughs> shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't believe that, dude. Dude. <laughs> Holy. Granted, it was funny. Funniest shit. But that hotel, that lady that, that lady with the gun, whoa, look, literally, I don't know if you guys could hear her in the background, but when I pulled up there, there was, uh, out inside, there's two little clubs there that are next to each other. And, um, right there is, um, is the um, sorry uh, there's two clubs there and um, <laughs> yeah so there's two clubs there and uh, the lady was screaming about they took her property I didn't know what property it was and then I cracked my window a little bit and I could hear her saying, they took my gun, they took my gun. I didn't hear about the $700 thing, but still, she was screaming. She was P.O.'d. I didn't know what it was. Then Jonathan and, and uh, his wife got in the car. Wow. That was just nuts. Well, well, there's week number one in the books. And what a conclusion to week number one. That was just crazy. Credit to Jonathan and his wife. Wow. Wow. Just, just wow.